particle cannon network must use these arrays for targeting and guidance. It's an automated system, so it won't technically allow me to redirect the cannons to fire on one another. Technically. Cortana to Infinity. The guns should be offline. How's it look from up there? Infinity! Cortana? Something's in here. Cave! Cortana. Cortana. Who are you? I am what remains of the Forerunner, once known as the Librarian. My memories were retained to assist humanity on their path to the Mantle. Though sadly, that plan is now at risk. The Didact is leaving Requiem. Soon. You must not allow it. Leaving? He seeks this. The Composer. A device which will allow him to finally contain the greatest enemy ever faced by the Forerunners. You. Mankind spread into the stars with an unexpected, desperate violence. Entire systems fell before the Didact's warrior servants rose to halt the aggression. When the Didact finally exhausted the humans after a millennia, his sentence was severe. We had no way of knowing that the Forerunners were not your only enemy. Humanity hadn't been expanding. They were running. Weakened from our conflict, we were no match for the parasite which pursued you. The Forerunners made plans for a final great journey. But the Didact refused to yield our mantle of responsibility. He would save all life in the galaxy. At a cost. In the Forerunner's quest for transcendence, the Composer had been intended to bridge the organic and digital realms. It would have made us immortal. But its results soured. The stored personalities fragmented. And our attempts to return them to biological states created only abominations. Such moral concerns faded from the Didact's attention. The Flood only assimilated living tissue. 
The composer would provide the didact his solution and his revenge. The Prometheans. They're human. They were only the beginning. He would have encrypted your entire race if we had not removed the composer from his care and imprisoned him here. Reclaimer. When I indexed mankind for repopulation, I hid seeds from the didact. Seeds which would lead to an eventuality. Your physical evolution. Your combat skin. Even your Ancilla Cortana. You are the culmination of a thousand lifetimes of planning. Planning for what? He has found us. Even in death, her meddling continues. Reclaimer, the gene song I placed within you contains many gifts, including an immunity to the composer. But it must be unlocked. How? Relinquish your contact essence. Your evolutionary journey must be accelerated. Can I defeat the Didact without it? No. Then do it. Prepare. Elevator, back of the chamber. What happened? 
Your bio readings are all over the map. It's a long story, but I know what the Didact's after. I know that part. The librarian filled me in when she snatched me from the system. But what I don't know is what she did to you. We're at the gravity well. Then paint that damn target so we can get out of here. You heard him, Chief. Line up the shot.
Infinity cannot handle that kind of punishment. Not again. This isn't about us or this ship anymore. Sir, we've seen what the Didact is capable of. If we let him leave this world, humanity will be at risk. Look, I understand what you think you saw. Think? With all due respect, sir, I know what I saw. And with all due respect to you, soldier, I'm not willing to jeopardize my ship because of the hallucinations of an aging Spartan and his malfunctioning AI. Sir, what if he's right? Nav, as soon as we know we're airtight, I want a course laid into Carinae Station. Come, prepare a warning beacon. I will not allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Commander Lasky. Pursuant to Article 55 of UNSC Regulation 12, 14572, I'm ordering you to remove that AI's data chip and retire it for final dispensation. I don't want to. You don't want me to. Remove Please. the chip now, Commander. Please. I don't want to. Give me that chip. The didact has to be stopped. If you won't do that, I will. I am ordering you to surrender that AI! No, sir. Lieutenant! Arrest that man! Captain! Arrest him! Captain! Get word to Earth that trouble is coming. Cortana and I will do what we can back here. I can give you over 40,000 reasons why I know that sun isn't real. I know it because the emitter's Rayleigh effect is disproportionate to its suggested size. I know it because its stellar cycle is more symmetrical than that of an actual star. But for all that, I'll never actually know if it looks real, if it feels real. Before this is all over, promise me you'll figure out which one of us is the machine. So what's your plan? Infinity's tracked the Didact's vessel to a docking structure southeast of here. We'll jump ship as Infinity exits the roof. You know, I was sent down here with orders to prevent you from leaving. In case you'd already gone, I took the precaution of ordering a pelican. Outfitted for full combat pursuit. I hope to God you're wrong about that forerunner. Or whatever he is, Chief. But in the vent, you're not. And Chief, good luck. Both of you. Come on, Chief. Take a girl for a ride. The Didact used this composer to create the Prometheans from ancient humans. If he wants to finish the job, he'll have to find it first. Our best bet to stop him is keep him firmly on Requiem. Let's hope Lasky didn't skimp on that pelican.
combat deck information offline. Initiating pre-flight diagnostics. Forward auto cannon, check. Lateral rail turrets, check. Main thrusters, check. Auxiliary boosters, check. All right, keying engine. It may be a while before we find another ride home. You know that, right? It'll be okay. Contact. Didact dead ahead. How do we get inside those shields? Marking two of the larger facilities on your HUD. They're acting as traffic control for resources moving to and from the satellite. If we disrupt their communications, I can forge an override code and convince it to lower those defenses. Slight complication. There are millions of transmissions passing through this structure, not simply the ones controlling the movement through the satellite shield. Can you isolate the satellite communications? Not quickly, and shutting them all down is not an option. But destroying the system's attenuators should flood the network. Of course, if Infinity wasn't on their way back to Earth, they could overload the attenuators remotely. We'll handle it. That's hardly the point. in Faraday enclosure. I bet there's a release around here somewhere.
Okay, the structure contains three...
Great. The increased signal traffic is almost entirely blocking out the satellite communications. Only one more target left. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's it. Transmission buffers are overflowing. Get us to the second tower. The others scatter like embers of the sand. And yet the librarian's champion is on the way. Cortana, where's this coming from? Where's what coming from? The man of responsibility for the galaxy shelters all the truth. But only the forms are its masters. The Didact's voice. I'm not picking up anything, Chief. Keep trying. Covenant air traffic's increasing. If we don't disable the other tower quickly, reaching the didact could become exponentially more difficult.
node's different than the previous tower. The source of the tower communications is a carrier wave generator located somewhere inside. It looks like the carrier wave generator is located at the far end of this chamber. Find us a way across. This gondola should do the trick. Look for its activation switch. To take a page out of our old playbook, I'm going to tune your shields to emit an EMP at the same frequency as the communication network. All you'll need to do to trigger it is to make physical contact with the carrier wave generator. Control of the system overrides. You're going to have to wrestle for it. The controls are up there. Where? Right, sorry. Waypoint!
We're in business. Back to the gondola. <laughs> 